Is your iMovie library taking up too much space on your internal hard drive? Does your computer seem slow or like it's lagging? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move your iMovie library to an external hard drive to free up all that space. Hey guys, Pablo here. Welcome back. And if you're new here or haven't yet, consider subscribing. So first things first, I want to show you where your iMovie library is located. I'm going to open Finder. From here, we're going to go to Movies. And here it is. So you're going to see iMovie library. I'm going to right click. We'll click on Get Info to see how much space it's actually taking up on our internal hard drive. So here you'll see 310 0.77 gigabytes of space that is being utilized by iMovie library in our hard drive. So that's a lot of space. We got to move that I'm going to transfer that over to the Lacey mobile drive uh, that you see right here. Got this on Amazon five terabytes for about 150 bucks. So pretty good deal. I'll link that down below. If you double click on iMovie library, you know that that opens up iMovie. It doesn't actually show you all the different files or folders where all your you know raw footage or your original footage is located to see that you need to show click on show package contents by right clicking on, on by right clicking on the iMovie library and then that'll show you where all your files are kept I'm just showing you this so you can see where it is. I don't really recommend going in here, moving stuff around. This is something that the, the computer, the iMac on the background organizes for you. So before we move the library over, you wanna make sure you quit, I, uh, you quit iMovie, which we already did, and then we'll move it over to the Lacey hard drive. So a couple of ways of transferring your files from your external to the Lacey hard drive or whatever external hard drive that you're using, one option is to just kind of grab it and drag it over and put it in there. Another option is to command C, which will copy, and then command V, which will paste it into that Lacey hard drive. In this particular case, we're going to actually right click, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna go into the drive. And then here we're going to right click again, paste item, and you'll see right here shows up. And you'll see copying iMovie library to Lacey. Uh, and depending how big your file is, is how long it's going to actually take to transfer those files or the file over. It says about an hour right now, but it's actually much quicker once it starts to get going. This number starts changing. It's really uh, quite fast. Uh, it also depends on what or how you're transferring. If it's USB-A or USB-C, uh, that'll also um, have an impact on how fast this will actually be. All right, so the iMovie library was moved over to the Lacey hard drive. So let's go check it out. So here it is. I made a folder for it and click it and it's going to say iMovie library external. I added or I changed the name from just iMovie library to iMovie library external. So I knew which one was which when I opened iMovie up. So we're going to op open iMovie up. So you'll see when you go under file and you go to open library. Now you have two. Now you have the iMovie library external and iMovie library. So this is the one that's currently on our internal hard drive. And this one's the external hard drive. So the one that's closest to the open library is the one that you're in currently. So if you were to click on this, it would go to that particular library. But what we want to do is we want to get rid of this library to free up that space. So what we're going to do now, before we delete it, we want to make sure that both of these have the same amount of space. So let's go back into it. Let's right click and get info. So this external hard drive, or this iMovie library external has 10.77 uh, gigabytes. And let's go to the movies. Do the same thing, right click, and you'll see here, just say the same exact thing. So 310.77 gigabytes, where in the Macintosh hard drive, 
and this one where in the lacy. So we know that they have the same amount of files so that we aren't worried about losing any of those files uh, when it transferred over. Now we can go ahead and delete the iMovie library that's currently in our internal hard drive, which is the one that's under movies. So if you go here, movies, iMovie library, again, many different ways of deleting this. One particular way is just move to trash. You can drag it into the trash, but we're just going to do move to trash. But before we do that, let's make sure available 191, 96 gigabytes uh, this is the little dashboard for clean my Mac so you can quickly see the available space memory and all that good stuff so that's how much space we have on the hard drive available so let's delete it and then we'll go back and check it again and if you want to check with your actual go to about this Mac storage and there you'll see 191.93. Okay, so let's let me just X this out here. And we're just gonna right click, move to trash. And we're going to empty trash to make sure we re recoup all that space. Because even though it's in your trash, it's still on your computer. So you wanna get rid of all of that. All right, so let's open clean my Mac. And this here should start, as you can see, went from 195 to 196 to 296. And it'll still keep registering more free space. As it notices that more has been freed up. So there we go. So now we have available a total of 503.90 gigabytes of available space. And you can also go about this Mac, go into about this Mac and storage. And you should see about the same 503.9 so there you go it's that easy to do it and we're going to go into the lazy so you can see that it actually is going to open i'm going to go to iMovie library and it should open our iMovie there it is alone in this particular event i don't have anything in here so let's go back to projects then you'll see all the different projects that I currently have. So it's that simple, freeing up space, moving your iMovie library, which can get ginormous into your external hard drive, to free up space, making a computer more responsive, snappier, performance, get your performance back and you're able to do much more instead of waiting because things are unloading or you get you know, it gets hung up or get it freezes, whatever it may be, this will help you with all of that. So thanks for watching. If you like this video or got something out of it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down below. I love hearing from you. And like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. Till the next one. Peace.